Now let's talk about the methods of uh, producing induced EMF. The electromotive force, this is the electromotive force, is the energy produced by a cell or battery per coulomb of charge passing through it. It is measured in volts. It is equal to the potential difference between the terminals of the cell when no current is flowing. As you know, the induced EMF can be generated or is equal to the magnetic flux created based on time. So, my E is equal to minus d phi by dt is equal to minus d by dt of n b a cos theta. The induced EMF can be produced by changing the magnetic induction b, the area enclosed by the coil A and the orientation of the coil with respect to the magnetic field. So, the magnetic induction can be changed by moving a magnet either towards or away from the coil and thus an induced EMF is produced in the coil or else the magnetic induction can be placed or changed in one coil can also be making an impact by changing the current in the neighboring coil thus producing an induced EMF. So, E is equal to minus N A into cos theta into dB by dt. I got the conductor P, Q, R and S which is bent in the shape as shown here and L1 and M1 is the sliding conductor of length L resting on the arms P, Q and R, S. A uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the conductor is passed. The closed area of the conductor is L1. Q R M1. When L1 and M1 is moved through a distance at dx in time dt, the new area L1, L2 is formed here and apart from that a new area of L2, Q, R, M2 is created. Due to the change in the area L1, L2, M1 and M2, there is a flux created in this conductor and an induced EMF is produced. So, change in the area dA is equal to the change in the area of L1 into L2, M1, M2. It indicates L into dx. So, dA is equal to L into dx. So, d phi is equal to b into dA that is b into L into dx. As you know the EMF generated is equal to the magnetic flux with time. This is the one. Replacing d phi with the b into L into dx you will be getting E is equal to minus of bL dx divided by dt. We got dx divided by dt is equal to b. So, v is the velocity with which the sliding conductor is moved. 